Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be making some pretzel nails for a client. I am going in with my Melody Susie brush. It is a new brush, size 14. I will leave it linked down below. Everything I'm using will be linked down below. I am going in with Blossom by Valentino as my acrylic. I did add a little bit of clear to it so that it is a lot more sheer than the original color. And then I am going in with some 3X full cover ballerina tips um, just to achieve this look i will be cutting these tips down a little bit later um into a lipstick shape but for the most part i wanted to start out with a ballerina just so that the lipstick shape is a little bit tapered so yeah in this video i will be announcing the winner to my giveaway but i thought this was a perfect opportunity for me to record a video for you guys and to announce the winner to my giveaway um my semester has started. I'm sorry when I was on break, I did not record for you guys at all. I just really wanted to break um, while I could. So here I'm just going in, like I said, and making sure that I'm going in with a thin layer. These don't really have to be thick, especially because the tips that I'm using are extremely good. You go in, I guess, with thicker acrylic when the nails are, I guess, flexible and a little bit cheap. But here I'm going in, I'm making sure my acrylic is extremely wet so that I can manipulate it. I almost want to paint this acrylic on it like it is nail polish. But um, yeah, so you guys get the picture. It's really repetitive. Um... So what have you guys been up to? I just wanted to bring to you guys attention that there was some type of spam going on my giveaway video. I've actually got that actual spam comment from somebody else that I'm following. So I don't know what's going on with YouTube, but I will never ask you to download anything. I will never ask you to send me anything. And I for sure will never t make you go extra steps after I've already said what the... um directions for the giveaway was so if you received that i do apologize i did try to go in and delete all of them and i'll try to report as many of them as i can um yeah so here like i said this is really repetitive i'm just going in and doing the same thing the only thing you want to make sure when you're doing acrylic press on nails is to make sure you go in with wet beads because like i said i almost want to say that I'm putting this on just like I am painting the nail. That's why you see it a little bit sheer. And then I do try to go back in and make it a little bit more opaque, but still making sure I use a little bit of acrylic. I'm sorry if you guys can hear the TV uh, playing. My baby is watching her show. But yeah, the winner to my giveaway is Robin Reeves. Um, Robin, I will message you on Instagram. Um, if you did not win, please do not feel bummed out. Um, I stopped doing giveaways for a while just because when certain people didn't win, they would just like go ham in my comments. Um, I want to get back to giving stuff away like every two, three months the way I was doing before. Um, but I'll have another giveaway. So don't feel bummed out if you did not win. Um, there are plenty of chances for you to win stuff. Um, I actually partnered up with a lot of nail companies to give stuff away as well. So if you want anything from me in the past, you guys know I try my best to give good stuff, especially when I'm packaging up stuff to give away for myself. But I just wanted to thank everyone for supporting my channel. And most importantly, we are just here to have fun, kick back, um, do nails and, you know, do little girly things and such. I thought these came out really, really cute. I wasn't too hyped to do the nails because, like I said, I really don't like doing acrylic nails. I don't see the point in them. But these came out cute, and at the last minute, these nails were turned into lipstick nails because initially she didn't ask me to do lipstick nails. Um, she wanted uh, ballerina nails, and that's what I have here. But it wasn't too bad because when she messaged me, I only had the foundation of the nails down, and I was like, cool, I can make something work. But I would have preferred to cut these into the ballerina shape prior to putting the acrylic on the nails instead of doing it after the fact. But I still think they came out really, really cute. This day was like really, really weird for me. I'm showing you guys right here. I wanted to record me doing the nail part, but as you can see in the beginning, when I picked this up, my pinky is extremely messed up. Um, I have a traditional nail salon desk and I went to put my hand on my nail and for some reason, um, my finger got caught in between the nail and where 
you pull the not not the nail my finger got caught in between the drawer so my cuticle area on my pinky uh, is all tore up but i did wanted to hop back on her so you guys can see how they turned out i am going in now with my diamond top coat from my website i will link it down below if anyone is interested but these are so 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 cute um, she did give me free range to do whatever I wanted to, to do, but she wanted two different type of blue colors on the nail. And I didn't want to go in with like any just like lines. So I figured I would do like a frantic, frantic girl. I figured I would do a slanted French tip because the nails were lipstick. There you guys saw that the nail did not cure all the way in the lamp. So I just had to wipe it off and just go in and fix that. Whenever you run into stuff like that, don't panic. I used to be like, all right, throw the whole damn set away when stuff didn't go my way. Um, as far as doing application on press-ons, it can be pretty intimidating, especially if they're not for you, they're for someone else. But here, I'm just going in and putting a diamond top coat. This part, I did cut out a lot because I do actually stroke that top coat on the nails quite a few times just to make sure there's no air bubbles in it and everything is clean. And then I do take my time and go in and clean the sides up. I'm actually going to make myself some of these because I thought these were so freaking cute. We're almost at the end of the video. If you haven't yet, please make sure you guys comment and like this video. It helps other people find my channel. And I will check you guys out in my next video. I think I do show you after I cure them in the lamp what they look like after they're already dried. And in case anyone wanted to know, since I didn't add that part in there, I am using Melody Susie 24 plus 4 kit. I used this before a couple of times on my channel. But I just wanted to show you what two colors that I'm using in the kit in case you have the kit or you're just interested in getting it. I will also link this kit down below so i will check you guys out in my next video this is what they look like i think they are so freaking cute um yeah let me know what you guys think